I'm Brittany Umar and welcome to The Nooner, presented by The Village Poorhouse, where the free shot for every Yankee run promotion didn't work out quite like they expected it to. That's right, the Yanks managed only six hits and one run in a 6-1 loss to the Phillies at the stadium last night. Unsurprisingly, Derek Jeter tallied half of the Yanks' hits and their only extra base hit, and A-Rod went 0 for 4 with three strikeouts. Can I? Can I? He's unclutch again. My guess, either Kate Hudson ran out of magic dust or Cliff Lee is boning Kate Hudson. Pedro Martinez will start tonight for the Phillies, and yesterday he was tossing around respect like it was 85 mile an hour fastballs, saying, I have all the respect in the world for Yankee fans. And even regarding Don Zimmer, I respect old people. Basically, he added, I respect everyone, except little people who might keep us little human heads. Meanwhile, the Mets broke one of the cardinal rules of baseball and drew attention to themselves during the World Series by making a huge splash of their own when they leaked news that Chip Hale will take over as third base coach. Who's Chip Hale? Yeah, we're not entirely sure. It might be this guy. The important thing is he's not Razor Shines. Reports say the Mets could also bring in former Diamondbacks manager Bob Melvin as bench coach. Melvin's D-backs team entered 2009 with high expectations but played terribly, so the Mets know he's a perfect fit. The Knicks were in mid-season form in their opening night loss to the Heat last night, playing lackluster offense and no defense at all and losing by 22 points. A slimmed down Quentin Richardson chipped in a couple of big baskets for Miami, proving once again that the best way to lose weight and revive your career is to leave the Knicks. Looking at you, Eddie Curry. You know, if you told me Rex Ryan had a problem with eating hot dogs during games, I'd say, well duh, look at him. But it turns out he actually has a different problem with eating hot dogs during games, in that he doesn't want his players doing it. Who knew? Ryan scolded Mark Sanchez on the plane trip home from Oakland for his reckless sideline wiener munching, yelling at the young QB for disrespecting the game, showing up his opponents, and not sharing. Sanchez turned it into a positive, though, donating 500 hot dogs and 500 hamburgers to a New Jersey soup kitchen. <sighs> soup kitchen director Lois Nichols was happy for the donation, but didn't understand the big deal about him eating the hot dog. He was hungry. We service 300 people a day who feel the same way, she said, adding, except, you know, they're much, much poorer. All right, I've got to go. The Poor House is giving free shots for every A.J. Burnett wild pitch tonight, so I want to get a good spot at the bar. 